Hey YouTube, found a ranch hand bumper or brush guard uh, at a guy's house for like 50 bucks. Kind of nasty, kind of cruddy. It's a lot of uh, rust. It looks like it's coming up from underneath the paint job, which isn't a good sign. <clears throat> Pretty shoddy welds. Uh, and the guy <clears throat> straight chopped it off. So I don't know if this was a salvage deal off of a, like a wreck or something. It's got some road rash on it. A few dings and dents, but no big deal. Um, we're going to build some brackets. Uh, I think I might put something similar to what they already had. And then just come straight back and try to hit those two bolts. I don't have any material, so I'm going to have to go buy some. Or maybe I'll just cut them at work. So... And then there's some brackets that go down here. Must attach to the frame. I don't think this is the right model for my truck, so we're going to have to modify those. Uh, should be a fun little project. Got a wire wheel, the whole thing. I'd like to get sandblasted, but we'll see how timing works out. Um, and we'll go from there. I'm trying to lay this uh, new bracket out, and I really didn't want to take these uh, eye hooks or toe, toe eyes out because they are beefy as hell you know um, I know some of you guys are going to say because the Fords are always getting pulled out but whatever uh, it looks like I'm going to have to take it out so what I'm doing is lining these holes up with these bolts here I'm going to take a measurement straight back straight back to there because I already have <coughs> the whole pattern thanks to that guy not that I can't measure it anyway but I'm going to go straight back to here figure out what that is and then go off of here that way and then find my center to center on the holes and I'll make a, basically an L bracket that will fit in there and I think it's kinda I could probably get closer so I might have to knock an inch off or or so. I'll drop, draw it up in Autodesk, cut it on the laser. Maybe I'll get to show you guys some of that this time. Okay guys, so let's draw this part up um, in Autodesk. We're going to sheet metal feature and make a rectangle here. I'm looking at the camera, not Yankee dimension. Three and a half. So I was going to make 10 and 3 quarter, but I'm actually going to do it an inch smaller. So 9 and 3 quarter. Sheet metal, face, apply. So then sheet metal default feature. I'm going to pick my thickness as 5 sixteenths. Apply. Into flange, go to flange feature. I want it to be three and a half plus a quarter. So 3.75 because we want to add a material thickness. See what she looks like. So there's our bracket, we just need to put the holes in it. Do another sketch. These are slots. So I'll do center points. Four of them. And I decided... Hmm. I didn't get a dimension off of there. Oh, it's not good. Okay, so I'm just guessing on this dimension. I forgot to measure this. And I'm going to do a parallel constraint or a vertical constraint. I think I screwed that up. Vertical? Oh, it's not vertical, so it'll be horizontal. Since we're off kilt here a little bit. Okay, and then my other dimension here was four and three quarter. 
and another horizontal constraint and center to center was two inches two inches and then this plate is three and a half so that give us three quarter on each side and these are still I don't know if you can see that that's a little better so if you can't tell these are a different color still because they're not constrained so we'll constrain them to these other ones and then we're gonna put a slot in there that's a slot for uh, half 13 bolts so do 0.55 by 0.55 yeah point 0.6 looks good and that needs to move so I'm not sure what that dimension is we'll have to measure that later do a rectangular pattern uh, I hit the button too fast rectangular pattern we're going that direction four and three quarter and then we're going to do a second direction at two inch and we'll just extrude these cut and then we have two holes here and those will be One point two five from this edge uh, that doesn't look right one point seven five but I added a quarter inch so that'll be two inches. That looks kind of better. I'll make a print and we'll take it and check it and make sure I have the right thing here. So between these two is 2.5. That's 3.5. And I want those horizontal. the edge double check yep 3d model hole let's do 5 8 kind of seems big and then just for aesthetics and everything else we'll do fill it on all the corners so there's our bracket um like i said i'll make a print check it and then we'll cut them later okay youtube we're back in the shop here and that's the bracket that we drew up in autodesk inventor uh the only thing i changed was the center of that hole was three quarters from the end not one inch so i got them bent uh cut and bent you can see the oxidation on there uh, got the bolts, I got the big eye hooks out of there, those were fun. Things are massive. Bent, solid rod, and then looks like it's forged on one end and then holes punched in it. So, what I've been doing now is drilling these holes out uh, to fit the half 13 bolts, because the local hardware store didn't have 7 16 so I also had to wallow out all these holes to get half 13 carriage bolts in there too so I'm gonna finish doing that just because I only have one tow hook the other one is in the scrap bin already we'll mount that back on 
and do a test fit. And I'm thinking about rocking this guy rusty. I don't know. Maybe we'll just leave it as is and let it rust. Okay, so I don't know what that material is. I thought it was a, like a cast iron or a ductile iron or something like that, but it is killing drill bits. You can see I flattened out that point quite a bit to try to make up for how hard that stuff is, but it's just, it's killing me. It's killing the bit. Of course, I'm using the mighty Dewalt, so we'll see. I don't know if I can make two more holes. Okay, so I'm getting ready to mount this thing. Uh, come on, move. Getting ready to mount this thing on the truck. Uh, this is kind of what I've been using as my helping hand here. A couple of ratchet straps on a jack. As long as you don't pull them too too far towards you, it won't fall on you. It's kind of just sitting there. But one thing I forgot to do, I was going to cut some gussets to put in here, um, just because that doesn't seem very strong. And I actually made four of these brackets, thinking that if I have to. I can come off with another one, drill and stick a couple bolts through here, just for extra. I could even probably try to hit, maybe, we'll see, there's a hole here. I might be able to hit that hole with something too, so, um, yeah, let's see if we can't get this thing on there, see what she looks like, see if it even lines up. Okay guys, so the brackets that came with... Or that I tore off that were attached they don't fit to anywhere there's nothing easy to do with them so there's like a, a metal bumper type thing under here I don't know if that's like part of the crumple zone or the crash zone or whatever oh. I figured we just bend them up I wasn't sure exactly how I was gonna do it But it probably won't work because the first one went so well and I'm filming this one so I just went straight up with it just like that and it runs right into the underside of that little crash bumper and I kept going it was actually a little further forward on the last one Side's a little different, but that I think will work. So it flattens it against that. And I'll drill and tap it. And boom. That's done. And I figured out these are down here so that this thing doesn't rock so bad. So it sure seems to, probably because it's only two bolts holding it on, which I don't really like, but there it is. Sits a little low. Um, I could do a Rev 2 on the brackets and kind of put a little bit of a drop in them. Uh, we'll have to kind of see. See how I like it. So, thanks for watching.